Hey everybody, Saberiv here. Just wanted to speak to you regarding a passage of the Bible, which is found in Exodus chapter 21. Uh, I want you to read along in your Bible version of Exodus chapter 21. And you will see that in the Bible version that you have of Exodus chapter 21, I want to show you that the actual Bible discusses slavery. It discusses slavery. And the first thing I want you to do is to ask yourself the question, what is slavery doing in the Bible? What is it doing in the Bible in Exodus, which is one of the early books of the Bible? And also the Bible try and have an open mind and understand that the Bible may not necessarily be the Holy Bible because the Holy Bible is written in stone before it is written on paper or paper versions. So try and understand that what you think is the Bible may not be the Bible. There's Bible versions that's written by man and there's man-made versions of the Bible. So let's read Exodus chapter 21. And verse 1 says, Now these are the ordinances which thou shalt set before them. Okay? Now these are the ordinances which thou shalt set before them. The question is, who is them? And also, where did these ordinances come from? What did the narrator, using narratives, want to portray or teach or coach to them? Verse 2 says, If thou by a Hebrew servant. Six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. So in verse 2, who is a Hebrew servant? Well, a Hebrew has to be of Africa, right? A Hebrew originates from Africa. A Hebrew is African. So why would they have in verse 2 of Exodus chapter 21, if thou buy a Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve? He shall serve. So he doesn't have a choice according to your Bible version written by man, which results in man-made slavery, right? So in verse 2 it says, If thou by a Hebrew servant six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. Well, slavery has been over 400, 600, probably even 2,000 years old, right? It doesn't mention anything about the woman being a slave or captured or enslaved. So this, to me, is worrying, and it should worry you. What is this doing in any Bible version? Verse 3 says, If he come in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he be married, then his wife shall go out with him. That's the first mentioning of a woman. Let's read it again. Verse 3. If he come in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he be married, then his wife shall go out with him. Verse 4. If his master give him a wife. Wow. Verse 4. If his master give him a wife, and she bear him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be what? Her masters. And he shall go out by himself. Verse 4 is saying, if you look at it and read it slowly, if his master give him a wife, or if his slave master give him a wife, and she bear him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her slave masters, and he shall go out by himself. How can this be coming from or inspired by the creator, the creator of the universe, the creator of love, mercy, grace, compassion, empathy, righteousness, so something's wrong here, and this is why I'm doing this video. Because most people who claim to be Christians or Muslims or any other religion or Jews don't really read the Bible. And they will say, well, no, I don't read the Bible, I read the Quran. Saudi Arabia reads the Quran. Saudi Arabia has and enforces and practices slavery, right? Even to this day. They hire people from the Philippines and and Africa, even to this day, as slaves and maids. So something here is not right. And it's not holy. And it's not righteous. 
or it's not righteousness. So verse 4 says, if his master give him a wife, how can a master, and who is a master? There is no master of anyone but the creator. Let's get that right. There is no master of anyone but the creator. So verse 4, if a master give him a wife, and she bear him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters or her slave masters or slave master. That is slavery. That is evil. That is wicked. And that is not of the creator of this universe. Verse 5. But if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. So verse 5 is saying the so-called slave when no one is a slave and no one's born a slave, wants to say, no, I want to stay with my children and my wife, then he cannot be free. This is in your Bible. Exodus chapter 21. Sit and read it. Read every single word slowly. Try and understand that these man-made Bible versions are actually written to enslave. They're written with wickedness and evil clearly in front of your eyes. And it's time for people to understand that these man-made Bible versions and man-made religions and man-made denominations are evil, wicked, and they follow evil and wickedness, most of them. In fact, most and all religions and denominations, the Creator has no interest whatsoever in any of them because of their evil, wickedness, racism, prejudice, Words, actions, deeds, thoughts, and mindsets worldwide. Verse 6. Then his master shall bring him unto God. Wow. And shall bring him to the door or unto the doorpost. And his master shall bore his ear through with an awl. And he shall serve him. How long? Forever. That's in your Bible. Exodus chapter 21. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous for man or man-made people and religions and denominations to think they can write this. And they actually did write it and they did enforce it. They enforced it upon Pacific people so that they could actually say it's written in their Bible versions. And who wrote the Bible? Do your research. Most of the Bible versions are written by Greek or Roman people of so-called Western civilization. When the, the real civilization is from the oldest human DNA, which is Africa. The first dynasties of this world is Africa. The oldest stone, Bible, hieroglyphs, and obliques from Africa. Know thy history. Understand what is going on here. Verse 7 says, And if a man sells his daughter to a maidservant, and she, and she shall not go out, as the men servants do. Verse 8. If she please not her what? Master. Who hath espoused her to what? Himself. Then shall he let her be redeemed. To sell her unto a foreign people. He shall have no power. Seeing he hath dealt deceitfully with her. Now I don't have the time to go through every single verse of Exodus chapter 21. So I'm going to highlight and jump to a few verses for you to understand what is slavery doing in the Bible? What is this slave master, master, ridiculous, evil, wicked narratives, teachings, co coaching, doing in the Bible? Because man put it there. Man wrote the very Bible versions most people read regardless of your religion or denomination. If we go down to verse 26, it says, And if a man smite the eye of his bondman or the eye of his bondwoman, which is the slave man or the slave woman, and destroy it, he shall let him or her go free for his eye's sake. That's in verse 26. What does your Bible version say? So they're here, they're trying to say, if you take out the eye of a slave, let him go free without his eyes. This is in your Bible. Sit and read it. Verse 16. And he that stealeth 
a man and selleth him of or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Verse 16. And he that stealeth a man, or enslaveth a man, or captures a man, or a woman, and selleth him or her, and if he be found in his hand, or she be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. This is not of the Creator, Most High. This is evil wickedness. And I want you to sit read the bible read every single word understand and see how man has infiltrated the very word of the creator of love and compassion mercy grace worldwide and it's time for a change it's time for people to know that most religions and denominations are man-made evil wickedness and it has to be corrected and it is being corrected. This is why people are waking up worldwide and understanding we cannot live in peace and harmony and righteousness and love with racism and prejudice of the old and today. Let me know your thoughts below. If you're on YouTube, leave your comments. Please like, subscribe, share. If you're on Twitter, please comment, like, share. Thank you for listening, CyberRev.